This video is going to be the ultimate Discord guide. Now, Discord is still new, underrated, highly misunderstood, and it might be the biggest opportunity that absolutely nobody is talking about. Right now, people are making millions of dollars a year on Discord, so it's no longer just a place for nerds to talk about their video game crushes, although you can still do that. So whether you're somebody who just wants a Discord so you and your friends can have a burping competition and voice chat, or you wanna create a server that could potentially make you a millionaire, this video is gonna be for you. No, but with all joking aside, I am gonna go over what you actually need to know in order to start a Discord. Now, I recommend watching the whole video all the way through, but if you're really busy, there will be timestamps down in the description below and you can check those out. Gently tap the like button if you appreciate timestamps on my video and let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, and by the way, one thing I do in my videos is in order to go above and beyond, I will have a gift for you at some point in this video, so definitely stay tuned for that because you're not going to want to miss out on it. Oh, and by the way, you can kind of just look at my Discord server. I'll have it pop up on the screen here so you can see how professional looking it is, how many different bots there are. And if you want to check out my free Discord server, there will be a link down in the description below. I've gotten lots of compliments even from others who own Discord servers as well. All right, so we're going to start at the very beginning. First, we're going to go over how to create a Discord account. So you want to type in Discord to Google. You can either go to discordapp.com or discord.com. Now, you can download Discord, of course. Um, that's recommended, but you can also just open it in your browser. But what you want to do if you already have an account and you're not logged in or you need to create an account is just go log in. If you don't have an account, click register. If you do have an account, type in your information here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so once you have created your account and you're logged in, I'll just go over some super basic stuff here on how to actually use Discord. All right, so once you've created your account and you're logged in, I'll just go over some super basic stuff on how to use Discord. So these are Discord channels over here on the left. You can kind of scroll through them. For instance, you know, this is Meet Kevin's. This is Andre Jeek's. So if we want to go through Andre Jeek's uh, channel, oh, it looks like some people posted an announcements. Okay, you can go ahead and read the announcement. Looks like they posted some stuff in crypto. Okay, we can read about that. And generally speaking with Discord, unless you want to annoy a lot of people, make sure that you keep the discussions related to whichever chat you're in. So for instance, college degree chat, career chat, you know, you probably don't want to ask like college degree questions in the investing chat. Now, if you want to react to something that somebody said, you can just go to their comment like this and you can choose your own reaction if you want or you can just do the same reaction that other people did like that. And if you want to reply to people, you just go to the comment you want to reply to and click reply. And this is a little bit redundant because I already clicked reply to them, but if you didn't want to do that, you could just go at and then type their name in as well. Chris is a guy who comments all the time in my Discord, really cool guy. Then you just post it by pressing enter. Now you can also control whether you get notifications or not uh, by right clicking and then you can just go you know mute channel or notification settings and choose whichever one you want so yeah that's just a super basic overview of the basics on how to use discord now we're going to go ahead and start a new discord so we're going to go down here to the bottom left and click add a server now you can create your own server from scratch if you want. You can also go ahead and use a template and the different types of templates are gonna be gaming, uh, school, club, study group, friends, artists and creators, and local community. Now I think the most common one is probably gonna be artists and creators and gaming. So if you click on artists and creators, it's gonna bring you to this for me and my friends or for a club or a community. And again, this just totally depends on what you are creating it for. So in this particular case, I'm gonna do it for a club or community. And for the server name, uh, let's do eat more hummus. And then you can upload a photo that's gonna show on the left if you want to, and then click create. Now, the great thing about this is it already created several different text channels for you, which is nice. So you've got general events, ideas and feedback, announcements, uh, welcome and rules. These are all things that you would have created anyway, so it saved you a little bit of time. Now, let's say you don't want one of these channels for whatever reason. You can just go to the little gear icon here, click it, and then click delete channel. And then let's say you don't want one of the categories. So for instance, you don't really want voice channels as a category. You just hover over the category, right click, and then click delete category. Now let's say you want to create another category. You just go to this drop down menu, click create category. We'll name this category gaming because I'm sure a lot of people watching this want to create gaming discords. We don't want it to be a private category. And then you just go ahead and click create. 
But let's say you wanted to create like a cryptocurrency category. Just type that in, create category, and it's just gonna appear right under. And whenever you want to rearrange these, all you have to do is just drag it. So I just put the text channels category under the cryptocurrency and the gaming category. Um, I don't think it really belongs there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drag these. But it doesn't really belong there, so I just put it right back. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some different channels within the categories. Now when you add the channel, most of them will be text channels. The voice channels are for chatting with other people as well as screen sharing. All right, so this one's gonna be called Gaming General Chat, but I wanna spice it up a little bit. I want to add an emoji to it. So what I'm gonna do is go to Google and type in Gaming Emoji. Emojipedia is really good. And I'm just gonna copy that. And I go back to the beginning and I'm basically just gonna paste it. Um, of course, there's keyboard shortcuts like uh, Control V, but that's gonna be different depending on what system you're on. So you can also just do paste. And then you wanna do a space so it just looks kinda of nice. And then you just go ahead and click Create Channel. Now I made this and I realized that the name is a little bit too long. So what I'm gonna do is go to Edit Channel and I'm going to shorten it to Gaming Chat. And then I'm just gonna click Save Changes, Escape, and there you go, Gaming Chat. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that same thing to a bunch of the other channels, and I'll be right back. All right, so I added in some more categories here. Um, as you can see, all the same stuff, information, text channels, gaming, cryptocurrency, added in some funny little emojis for each of those. For instance, maybe you wanna create a channel about how much Call of Duty sucks now, because it, it does, let's be honest. But very important, I added two more types of channels that you probably don't want the average person who joins your Discord to see. The first one is a moderator channel, and the second one is premium content. So what I personally like to do is I like to make it very easy to see where the general like normal discord is, the free discord is versus the private or the premium discord. And so as you can see, I put some lines here around the premium content. So you can just right click on that, go edit category and you can see what I did. So I put, you know, some lines there, put the diamond, premium content, another diamond and then some more lines. So that's kind of what I like to do just to show that it's separated. And then sometimes people like to do that with all the text channels as well. All right, so this is the part where it gets a little more difficult. People have a kind of a hard time with this one and that is setting up roles. And the reason we wanna set up roles is we want just the normal people who join our server to only see this. We want our moderators and admins to be able to see everything. And then the people who subscribe to premium content, we want them to see this and above. So almost everything except for the moderators rooms. So the way we do that is by adding roles. So you wanna go up here to the top and go to server settings. Then you want to click on roles. Now guys, if you look at my roles, I have a ton of them, right? I really went all out on my server and created a bunch of different roles. I also reward people for commenting a lot. And then I also have a bunch of bots on here as well. But when you first start, you really just wanna keep it simple. There are several basic roles that you wanna make sure to add. So what you wanna do is go to create role. It's gonna have it as new role right there. Um, we are just gonna create a basic member role. Now, really important here, you wanna choose the color and make sure you don't choose a dark color. The reason for this is because most people who are on Discord are gonna have it in the dark mode, obviously. And if you choose a dark color, it's gonna be really difficult to read people's names. This is a mistake that I made with my Discord. So you really wanna try to choose a light color. Now you can just choose one of these if you want to. I mean, you know, green is nice. You can also choose a custom color if you want to. So you can slide this anywhere you want. Just choose this color. And then you just slide the little ball around. So maybe you want like really bright, obnoxious green. That's what you would choose. And luckily what Discord does is it kind of shows you what it looks like with the color that you selected. And that's really nice because when I created my Discord, this was not an option. Now, when it comes to display role members separately from online members, definitely click yes on this one. And the reason for that is because the person wants to have the special color. And then also you want them to show up on the right side of the screen. And here's what I mean by that. So this is the right side of the screen. You know, I've got level 10, level five, level ones, verified members, 
it shows the bots. People, for whatever reason, really want to be able to see like what role they're in on the right side of the screen. That's really important to them. It's like a hierarchy thing. So you definitely want to always click this. Now, other than that, we're actually gonna keep this role exactly the same because this is just a super basic role. We don't really want them to be able to do anything. So for instance, you wouldn't wanna check this um, because this would mean that they could just at mention like a bunch of different people. And when it comes to the permissions, same thing, just keep it exactly the way that they have it. And then I already did it, but always make sure to click save changes. It should be a little rectangle that pops up around right here. So that's just the basic role. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add a moderator role. Okay, so I clicked new role again, type in moderator. We'll choose a really ominous color for moderators, bright red, because we all know moderators want to be feared on Discord. Now, again, you could choose an image here that is extremely specific to the Discord that you're in. So I'm not even gonna bother this time, but yeah, if you wanna choose an image, that can look pretty cool. You wanna go down here, uh, display role members separately from online members. Go to the right there, go to permissions. All right, so scrolling down a little bit here, there are a few things you absolutely 100% want to allow your moderators to do. Kick members, and band members, without a doubt, you want them to be able to do this. Um, I would also give them the ability to put members in timeout. Now, those are the ones you definitely want to give your moderators. Um, the other ones are kind of preference, but I usually give them a good amount of power. So for instance, manage roles, eh, that one's pretty iffy. They could really mess up the roles if you let them. Manage channels, you know, obviously anyone that you would make a moderator, you trust them, so that's okay. Manage emojis and stickers, I would say yes. View audit log, yes. Manage webhooks, I wouldn't do that one. Manage server, I would say no, that's more of an administrator role. Manage nicknames, yes. Because sometimes people will make kind of like inappropriate names, you want them to be able to change that. Manage messages, definitely. Manage threads, I would say yes. And then coming down here a little bit, uh, mute members, deafen members, I would say definitely yes for those. Move members, I would say yes. Priority speaker, I would say yes. And then the last thing you wanna do is make sure to drag the moderator role on top of the member role. So very important that moderators are on top of members. And then make sure to always click save changes. And next we are going to create an admin role. I'm gonna go ahead and make the admin gold. So you wanna click uh, display role separately from online members again. And then with this one, you go over to permissions, scroll all the way to the bottom and give them administrator rights. You don't really have to bother checking any of these other ones. And then you want to drag it to the very top and click save changes. Next, we're gonna do a bot roll really quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this roll uh, bright blue. I'm gonna do display roll separately from online members. And you actually wanna keep the bot roll towards the bottom. So you just click save changes. And then finally, we are going to create a premium role. And you probably wouldn't name it premium, you'd name it something much cooler than that because people are basically gonna be paying in order to have this role and have access to the different chats. So you'd probably name it something cooler than that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and name it premium. I'm gonna make that this nice uh, green color here. I'm gonna scroll down, display role separately from online members and then save changes. And then you really wanna drag the premium role probably like above the member role and then click save changes again, because I forgot. Now, of course, there's no one on the server right now except for me, but what you can do is go over to the right here and it shows all the people logged into the server, which is, it's just me. Right click it, go to roles and you can change the role. So in this particular case, I'm gonna make myself admin and there you go. Now, when it comes to permissions for the individual channels and categories, what you wanna do is click the edit channel, go to permissions, click on advanced permissions. So just go down the list and click X for all of these. You don't want normal people to be able to see the moderator chat and click save changes. But then you wanna to go to the left here and go to moderator. You want to give them the ability to view the channel and basically you want them to be able to do everything. 
All right, so I went all the way down the list and I'm just gonna go ahead and save changes. And then remember, we're in the moderator chat right now. So what we're also gonna do is let admins participate. So same exact thing goes for them. We're gonna click the green check mark for everything. And actually I realized um, with the admins, you'd probably give them all the permissions. With the moderators, manage webhooks, you might not wanna do that for them. So I'll just go ahead and, and put that one to the X. And to be honest, you might not want them to manage permissions either or to manage the channel. It really just depends on how much you trust your mods. But I'll just put those over to the X. And another one that is questionable is the create invite. So, you know, if you don't want them to be able to invite people to that particular channel, um, you, you'd probably want to do that as well. So, but admin should have access to everything. And then you want to go ahead and do the same thing for your admin chat. Go to permissions, um, you know, go to everyone and just do X's all the way down the line and save changes. And then you want to go to roles, add the admin, and do the green check mark all the way down the line. And so basically, you want your admins to have access to both the admin and the mod channel. So when you go back to the main page and you see these little locks on the uh, hashtag, that means that other people can't see it. And then if you don't want to go through and do it on the individual chats, like for the premium content, for instance, you can right click it, edit category, go to permissions for everybody. Um, it's premium content, so you don't want everybody to be able to see it. So you're going to go ahead and do all X's here. Then go ahead and save changes. And then you're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing for the uh, moderator and the admin. You're going to give them access to that. So I'll go do that really quickly and then skip over it. And then lastly, you are going to add the premium members and you're going to allow the premium members to view the channel. Of course, you're not going to allow them to manage the channel you can allow them to send messages send messages and threads, allow them to create public threads. Now, allowing them to embed links, um, that's going to depend on what you want. Generally speaking, if it's a premium channel, you should probably allow them to embed links. But, you know, a lot of them do have issues with spammers. Allow members to upload files or media in these channels. Yes. Add reactions, use external emoji, external stickers, read message history. I would say definitely yes. And then after you're done, go ahead and save changes. And then you're going to see that all three of these chats are locked and only people who are admins, mods, or premium content members can see this. Now, one thing that would be super annoying is if you had to manually go in and change everybody's role, right? So everyone who joined the server, you'd have to manually uh, go in and change their role to general or mod or premium. That would take up a lot of time. So what you want is a bot to do that for you. And the best bot for doing that is the me6 bot. So it's me6.xyz. Then you're gonna go ahead and click add to discord going to authorize and then you're going to want to select the server that you're setting up and so obviously it would be this one make sure the right server is selected eat more hummus continue and you do want to have all the permissions because you want it to be able to automatically control stuff on your server so you don't have to do it and then just go ahead and click authorize it's going to make you do a captcha to make sure that you're not a bot <laughs> Now, when you go back to your server, you see that you finally have a member. Unfortunately, it's a bot, but you know, hey, at least you have a member. Now, when you've added it, you need to give it a role. So you right click, you go to roles and you click on the bot role that we created a little bit ago. Now, there's a ton of different things that you can do with the me six bot. Um, the most obvious one is just sending a welcome message. So you can, you can go there and click, you know, send a message when users join a server. You can select the channel, go to welcome and rules. And uh, it has this, you know, custom message here. So it'd be like, hey, user, welcome to the eat more hummus server. Now, you probably don't want to use the generic message. You probably want to change that to something. But in this particular case, I'm just going to keep it that way. Click save. 
And then you're gonna scroll down to the bottom here and there are some other options. You could send a private message to new users. That, that would be a lot of private messages if you have a bigger Discord, so I don't recommend it. You can give a role to new users, which I definitely do recommend. So you click that button right there, go here, and you want to give them the member role. And it warns me here that I have to put the me six role above all of the other roles listed. So I'm gonna go back to the server, go up here, click on server settings, go to roles. And then I literally just drag the me six bot all the way to the top, save changes. I go back here and there's no longer a warning message. And then always make sure to save. Now the Mi 6 bot is honestly amazing. There's so many different things that you can do with it. There are free ways to use it, of course, but they also have some paid options as well. So for instance, you can set it up to where whenever you go live on Twitch, it'll notify people. Whenever you make a tweet, it'll notify people, put it in a, you know, a Twitter channel. Same with YouTube, Instagram, and Reddit. All right, so you now know how to set up a basic Discord. There's a lot more to it when it comes to the bots. There's so many different bots out there and there's so many different things that you can do with them. Uh, if I went into that, this video would be hours and hours long. Next part, we're gonna talk about how you can make money from Discord. Now I'm gonna talk about the most common methods. Um, selling your own services is one method. You can also partner with a sponsor like NordVPN. You can sell premium roles if you have a Discord server that's really popular. It's almost like selling a skin on a video game basically. You can also sell premium bots to servers, so you can make your own version of Me6. You can sell paid promotions within your server, so this is basically the same thing as allowing an ad to be in there. And then the one that I believe to be the best, and that is create a premium part of your own server. Now, a lot of the time people will want to see, you know, premium live streams, for instance. They'll also want to have premium chats where they can, you know, chat with other premium members. And it's usually a good idea for you to be relatively active, especially in the premium chats. I mean, that's kind of why people paid for it because they want to be able to talk to you. But there are people making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. No, not hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. There are many people making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month by doing this on Discord. So for instance, Max Meyer is doing this and the way he does it is through Patreon, which is a really good way. It's the way I do it as well. Uh, very simple, very easy to set up. And most of his members are here in this $9.99 per month range, but he has a good amount of people in the $34.99 per month range as well. And then he even has another one that's uh, about $50 a month. And he has over 10,000 patrons. If you do the math here with his average patron being between $9.99 and $49.99, I'm going to guess it's probably about $15 or so. He's making around $150,000 a month. And uh, he does coaching. He does buy and sell alerts. He does the live streams. So yeah, I'm not picking on him. Uh, just one example. There are many other YouTubers and Discord owners that are doing the same thing. In fact, here is my Patreon where I tell people about my investments. I help them pick college degrees and careers. I also do one-on-one -on -one coaching sometimes. I answer people's questions. I do live streams. My Patreon is a great way for you to access me. And it is connected to my Discord. And of course, if you would like to consult with me, you can check that out down in the description below. So when you're on Patreon, you do have to set up paid tiers. And of course, I'm not gonna do that in this video. That would be something to do in a completely different video, but it's very easy. So what you wanna do after you've created your Patreon is click view page, edit your page. Then you wanna go to tiers, and then you want to edit the tier. And then you wanna scroll down here and click into the advanced section. And then right here, it would say connect to Discord. Now I'm already connected to Discord, so it's different, but that is how you would connect to your Discord. You'd click that and it would have you basically install the Patreon bot onto your Discord. Now that's already installed onto mine. So if we go back to my Discord, we go to server settings and we go to roles. It will show up as Patreon. Um, I renamed it to Patreon Premium Subscriber Bot, but you wanna make sure that this is very close to the top. You don't wanna put it over owner, but it should be over just about everything else. So if it's not close to the top, if it's way down here, make sure you drag it up. Then once that's dragged to the top, you're gonna go back to Patreon. You are gonna click Give Patrons Access to Select Discord Roles. Gonna go to the roles here. And then you would find the role that you made. Now, in the example of the simple server we just made, I named it premium. In this example on my server, it's named premium subscriber. 
I'm not going to click it because I don't want uh, this particular Patreon tier to have premium subscriber status. But that's what you can do. And you can even make multiple Patreon tiers and then give people access to different parts of your Discord. For instance, maybe you have one Patreon tier that gives you just basic premium Discord access. You have another Patreon tier that gives people access to live streams, another Patreon tier that lets people directly message you, you know, something along those lines. But after you're done, you would want to go down here and click save tier. Now you could definitely create your own server. I would say for a server like mine probably takes around maybe 10 to 20 hours, but you don't have to do it all at once. You kind of just do it as you go along. And it's really easy to read articles online or watch tutorial videos. But there are a few shortcuts that you can take. First of all, there are Discord templates. So a really good website is discordtemplates.me. And you can look at different servers and kind of just see how they look. So this server, for instance, you can kind of see the templates that it has on the left and then all the different roles that it has. And then if you like it, you can click use template and your Discord server is gonna match that one. So that's one kind of shortcut you can do if you find a Discord server template that you really like. Now, when it comes to how to get your initial members in the Discord server, there's many different things that you can do. First of all, you can invite your friends. And the way you do that is go up to the top here where it has the title, click on the drop down and invite people. And I'm not going to click on it, but if you did click on it, it would give you a link and you can send your friends that link. Or in some cases, it'll just automatically send it to them. You can also post your Discord on other social medias. So you could post a link to it on your Facebook or if you have any other social medias like YouTube. Another great thing to do is to be active in other Discords and then, you know, don't like advertise yours too much, but, you know, just make it obvious that you also have one. On Discord itself, you can put it in your profile description. So when people click on your profile or hover over it, they'll see that you do own your own Discord. You can find specific subreddits that have to do with whatever your Discord is about. So for instance, if your Discord is about a very specific video game, maybe you would find the subreddit about that video game and people would be interested in joining the Discord. You can also advertise your Discord. So, you know, right here, discord.me uh, slash advertise. Now, when I first started my Discord, I didn't want to learn how to do any of this advertising stuff, so I paid somebody else to advertise for me. And the way that I found people who advertised for me was I went to Fiverr. So when you're on Fiverr, all you have to do is just type in um, Discord promotion, and there are a lot of different options for you here. Now, be careful with some of these because a lot of them are going to be a little bit sketchy. They might just give you like fake Discord members. So look into it. Make sure you look at the reviews, et cetera, et cetera. Also, make sure you read Discord's terms of service and make sure what they're doing isn't going to get your Discord in trouble. But yeah, this is kind of a fast way in order to advertise your Discord. And actually, if you want somebody to create the Discord for you, so you don't want to spend those 20 hours creating it, you can also use Fiverr. So you type in create Discord, and there are people who will set your Discord up for a relatively good price. Now, keep in mind, you're probably gonna get what you pay for here. You know, if you choose a person who's charging $5, they're probably just gonna, you know, get some random template out there and then make a few changes here and there. There are people who do specific types of Discord. So I will create NFT stocks and crypto Discord servers. There's lots of people who do gaming group Discord servers. So whatever Discord server you want to make, there's gonna be somebody on Fiverr who specializes in it. Now I do have a gift for you here. There's people that I've personally used or friends of mine have used that they recommend on Fiverr. And these are people who are good kind of like at the more expensive level, people who are a little bit more affordable, and then people who are dirt cheap, but they still make relatively decent discords. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to my Rolodex to people who I've used who I think are pretty good down in the description below. I'm gonna put it a little bit below my affiliate link. So it's going to be kind of like halfway through. It's going to be a Google Doc. If you enjoyed the video and you made it this far, check out the video about asking 100 supercar owners what they do for a living and if they went to college. It's a super fun video. You are going to love it. Gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, etc. that you have on the video. And I will see you next time.